Hello one and all, I am Pala Games and welcome to First Fox and Fun. It is a Friday and I'm just feeling positive and hopefully we're going to look at, you know, some really fun games hopefully. Uh, today we are looking at Hydraulic Empire brought to you by Solitude Entertainment and available on Steam for £6.99 or, you know, your, your regional equivalent as it were. Uh, so yes, has this game got that initial interest factor? That's what we're going to be asking today. Or, you know, is it just not so much so? Uh, I don't know anything about this game as usual, and I'm basically learning on the fly. So, uh, straight away, we're learning a few uh, tutorial basic stuff. So, uh, a tower defense from what I could tell from the screenshots. So, I'm not so confident on the UI at the minute, but hey. Let's keep it at medium. It's interesting that it has quite uh, nice layouts, although at like, first glance it does look a bit overwhelming. So, uh, I don't know what to go with. Uh, we'll just click go, see what happens. So, it has this grid system which I just thought was like striking in terms of the aesthetic going for this game. Uh, this is how much scrap you have. Scrap is a resource you use to build towers. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, so that will be our currency for the game. Uh, lives, pretty simple once again. And that's a turn time, okay. I'll be honest, uh, it's kind of like a dual colour. Uh, it, 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 it suits in terms of like the aesthetic it's going for, but it's not very striking. So, uh, so that's not I'm not initially impressed by. And then you have like that mob spawner to tell you that uh, what mobs are coming your way and such. So, at least that looks nice. That looks visually pleasing to do that. So obviously it's going to sh start by purveying these kind of just basic units and towers and such. So we, uh... Okay, so you, you play as a character, kind of. So although it's got like this almost like top-down view, uh, I suppose it still means you have some sort of control over what's happening. Okay. So uh, that was in a way a little, that uh, pop up, but nonetheless. So essentially I imagine we'll be able to run over this level pretty easily. I, I imagine this uh, tile has some significance. Whoops, and scrap. Uh, Okay, so we've got some active uh, abilities as well. So if we press 1 and we just throw it over here, the idea is that we'll be able to take some of this stuff off. Or at least do some damage. So our other abilities here are Acid Rain and a Snipe. Okay. So you've kind of got this almost like quite innovative like style from like Sanctum and such where it involves kind of player interaction alongside the uh, towers which is nice to see. Uh, I suppose we can put another one down. And it looks like we are already failing in quite a tremendous manner. Should really be keeping an eye on how many I can create here. Would be a good idea.
this would be a good idea so that we can now do some real damage and we're going to like do some upgrades here pretty basic stuff really and we should have no problem clearing this level at all okay so it's a one off like upgrade uh, at this stage of the game it might change at later stages who knows but so far you know it's got that kind of it's got enough sort of substance going for it but it doesn't do it in say a stylish manner nonetheless uh, I'm, oh, I'm like hopeful so we'll play some more we'll see uh, what uh, other unique stuff it's got going for it but yeah so far so once again it scavers a new tower the uh, music's a bit you know it's quite okay I suppose So it wants us to throw the acid rain over. It is kind of annoying that it wants us to do that. You know, it kind of we have to wait for the characters to kind of for our characters to go over to use the thing. It's just kind of a bit and just it just makes the whole thing seem like the best way to describe it would be it just seems sluggish because it does it this way. And it requires you to kind of move characters in position. But that's okay in a way, I suppose. I've noticed none of the uh, enemies seem to attack us, which is... Uh, interesting to say the least and then once again we have to wait for the characters to come down I'm not a fan of that it just makes the whole thing seem a bit like a lengthy process Seems I've built this quite badly, to say the least. And I will probably just get just absolutely hammered due to the fact that I've not really tried to implement a strategy, which I should probably should be doing like a maze and such, but. Nonetheless, so far it's doing the, you know, I wouldn't expect me not to do well, to be honest. The radius effect, kind of, it seems to just, in my opinion, from an aesthetic point of view, just clash. It looks almost druid-like. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Obviously, it's, it is quite a subjective thing to do in terms of talking about the art. I think it's totally legitimate to do that. You know, maybe you dig it. But from my point of view, I don't. <laughs> Simple as that. But yeah, I'm not entirely sold. I mean, that bomb's a good example of where, you know, it's just because of a sluggish nature of how the character works. So it seems the game has a, a talent tree of some kind. And a level like a leveling tree so we probably want to do that so what is the shining thing in the sky okay it's something what's coming soon however this is kind of a nice uh, Substance rather than style, I think, in terms of how it looks. But once again, you know, it is quite subjective, I suppose. 
and we could decide what to spend it on. Which one of these three, you know, we prefer. I didn't like the bomb, I'll be honest, that's a definite no-no. I think Acid Rain, like, just looked the best. I mean, that'll determine what else we can go into. So this gives us uh, the ability to use Grease. Fair enough. So I'll assume that will give us the ability to choose what we can use in uh, this game due to uh, having an additional like power. Uh, yeah, I think we can go straight into it, and uh, this will be kind of our kind of penultimate game, I think, in terms of. We've learned quite a lot, and it seems to now be implementing uh, anti-air stuff. We'll see how much of that comes along. I suppose this will be a uh, point where this will actually mean something. And then, once again, it's prompting us to use our abilities. I think it's important now that we um, throw down some machine guns. And implement a better strategy in terms of like a tunnel. Try and take advantage of some of our powers. Because I suppose that will also help. Uh, one more? Because at the minute, the uh, anti air tower seems to be doing a, a stunning job. I think we'll throw down another flat cannon just to make uh, things a little better. And then just throw some more Gatling guns down. Seems quite hectic, definitely. The pacing just seems a little quick for my liking, but hey, it might be just a case of getting used to it more than anything. But the uh, air tower seemed to just be just obliterated in comparison. Which is uh, an interesting contrast to say the least. So there should be enough now to a point where we will be able to just take everything out with little effort required. Hopefully. That is the dream. And we kind of 
failed in that regard. So once again we've uh, earned yet another level. So that's uh, something to be said at least. So yeah, um, what are my final th like my final thoughts on you know my initial impressions? I would say it's one of them games where it it like plays well and it's mechanically sound in some places. But it has a few bugbears for me, like how like it, the movement seems sluggish, how because of how he has to move to implement certain abilities, it makes it just seem slow in comparison to some others, like how defend you, your life that tower defense plays in comparison, in terms of how you can just implement the powers without needing your character to go and do it manually like the bomb for instance where it will be useless by the time he's over there because at that point the characters have moved onwards um, and just from an aesthetic point of view you know I'm not completely digging it I don't believe it's completely a cohesive style but like that's totally subjective uh, sound I'm pretty digging it even though it's been it seems to be just one track on loop <laughs> hasn't bored me yet and yeah I mean it just most things I would expect from a tower defense uh, will I play, play more of it mm, I suppose it's one of them games I'll dip into now and then when I'm bored uh, but yeah I mean uh, like I say I seem to be very much on the fence about this tile Normally I have like a distinct opinion on this, but in this case it just isn't. I mean, but I suppose that's all to sell them out. Uh, let me know what you think of the game in the description below. And other than that, thanks for watching everyone, and goodbye.